This is skill number nine. Give the resident a partial bed, bath, upper body. So that's face, neck, chest, arms, abdomen, and hands. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, I'm nursing assistant Christine. Is it okay if I can come into your room? They say yes. Before we get started, is it okay if I check your wristband? All right, Mrs. Jones. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. I'm here to um, give you a bath for your upper body. Is that okay if we can perform that today? She says yes. Okay, Mrs. Jones, um, I actually have to step out of the room to gather my supplies. So if there's anything you need in the meantime, go ahead and hit, hit your call light and I'll be right back, okay? So I'll leave, wash my hands, leave the room, gather my supplies. Okay, knock, 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 Mrs. Jones, I'm back. Um, give me a moment while I set up my supplies. Make sure that the wheels are locked. Raise the bed to my working level. Lower the side rail on the side that I'm working on. Okay, Mrs. Jones. So my supplies for this skill is going to be a chest, protective barrier for the table, two towels, one being behind their head and one being under their arm. I have eight washcloth, two for the face, Three for their arm, three for their torso, basin for water, new gown, bath blanket, soap, and gloves. So this is going to have three glove, um, three glove changes and three water changes. Um, water change for water for the head, another a water change for their arm, water change for their torso. Torso. So with each water change, you should be changing your gloves. I'm just gonna go sanitize my hands, put on my gloves. Okay, Mrs. Jones, go ahead and you put the, start off with putting this um, towel behind your head. This will protect your pillow from getting wet, okay? So if you can assist me by lifting up your head. Thank you. Jones, I'll also be putting another towel under your arm, okay? Protect your bed. Okay. All right, Ms. Jones, I'm just going to go ahead and put this bath blanket on you so it'll keep you covered and warm. And also, I'll be removing your regular sheets so they don't get wet. So, you can assist me by holding on to the bath blanket while I pull down your regular sheets. Thank you for your assistance. Make sure you pull the sheets all the way to the foot of the bed. Ms. Jones, I'm going to just go ahead and take off your gown. Make sure you don't overexpose her. Keep her covered and warm. linen barrel. I'll go ahead and just verbalize, do a glove change, wash my hands, change my gloves because I did touch her dirty gown. So I'll get my washcloths out, get my water in my basin, verbalize, get water. Mr. Jones, if you can check the temperature of the water for me, is that okay? She says yes. Okay, so Ms. Jones, we're going to go ahead and clean your face this morning. 
So fold your washcloth into fours again. No soap for the face. Dip it in your basin of water. And of course, we're going to be using each corner of the washcloth. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn her head so you guys can see. So one corner, we're going to start on the eyes. Doesn't matter which eye you work on, but you're always going to start from the innermost part of the eye outward, okay? So one swipe, one corner. Get a new corner for the next eye. Swipe. And for this, to clean the face, I'll start with one side and work my way to the other side. So that's just one stroke. Okay. Same thing with this last one. I'll go from ear, neck to ear, one stroke. Done, soiled linen barrel. Next towel, pat dry. Now you're done with the head area. So verbalize, change water, get new water, change my gloves, sanitize, put on new gloves. Have her check the temperature again. Mrs. Jones, can you touch the water and see if that temperature is okay? She says yes. So the next, we're gonna work on cleaning your arm, Mrs. Jones. So remember, only ex expose the side that you're working on. And just like with the other skills, you'll focus from the top to the bottom, armpit being the last part that you clean. Wash cloth into four, dip it in the water, add soap, Verbalize, lather the washcloth. Start from shoulder, work your way down, fingers, between the fingers, palm, up the arm, and armpit. So we'll use one side to get from the shoulder, top of the arm, work your way down. I'll get the top of the hand and the fingers. Next one, I'll go between your fingers and get her palm. Next one, I'll go get the underside of her arm. And the last corner, her armpit. So, done, soiled linen barrel. Next one will, to, will be to rinse off all that soap. And again, four corners, water still good, we never double dip. And do the same stroking pattern that we did with the wash. One corner, start from the shoulder, work your way down for the top of the arm, at the top of the hand and fingers. New corner between their fingers and their palm area. Next corner, the under part of their arm. Last corner, armpit. Soiled linen barrel. Next towel, pat dry. Pat dry, pat dry. Okay. So now that we're done with the arm, I'll go ahead and grab this towel that was under her arm. I'll go ahead and flip it to another side and ask Miss Jones if she could raise her, uh, her torso up so I can put this behind her. And also, don't forget, after you're done cleaning this arm, verbalize, I do the same thing on the opposite arm, okay? So water change again, of course, change the water. Ask her to check the temperature. She says it's fine. Do your glove change, sanitize, put on new gloves. So now this is the torso part. Well, you'll have your three, and we'll use the um, washcloth into fours again, only utilizing different corners. So when you wash them, you're going to lift this up and clean underward, under the blanket. Don't do it like this, don't overexpose them. Always lift it up and under. So for the video purposes, I'm just going to expose Ms. John so you can see the way I'm cleaning her. So dip your washcloth in the water, add soap, verbalize lather. And so I'll use one corner for her top of the chest and her breast. I'll use one corner to get under her breast. I'll use the next corner to get her stomach, her abdomen. And then I'll use the last one to get under her abdomen. So she's all soaked up. This is done. Soiled linen barrel. Never double dip. The water's still good. Get my next towel. Do the same stroke pattern. One corner for the top of her chest. 
on top of her breast. Next one for under her breasts. Next one for her abdomen. Next one for the folds under her abdomen. And she's done. So linen girl. Next one. Pat dry, pat dry, pat dry, pat dry. So remember, you're going to be cleaning them under the blanket. So you'll lift up like so and do the stroke patterns. So top of the chest, under the breast, stomach, under the folds of their skin. Okay, so now that she's done, I'll go ahead and verbalize, put away my basin and supplies. I'll change my gloves, sanitize, put on new gloves. Because now, because you are touching her new gown, Just go ahead and grab her gown, put it over the bath blanket, feed her arms through the sleeves. Remember, don't over, don't expose her. So just expose this arm, feed her arm through the sleeves. Don't forget to tie it in the back. Okay, Ms. Jones, if you could lift your head for me. Tie it. So at this point, I'll go ahead and remove the bath blanket from under her gown. And just put it back over her to cover her up. Go ahead, Ms. Jones, let me go ahead and remove that towel from behind your head. So then and barrel towel from behind her, soiled linen barrel. I'll go ahead and grab her regular sheets, put it over her, remove her back blanket, hold on to the top sheet for me, Mrs. Jones. Thank you so much. Soiled linen barrel. Dispose of your chest, throw it away, take off your gloves, verbalize, sanitize my hands, or wash your hands and do your ending. All right, Mrs. Jones, that's pretty much it. Is there anything else I could do for you before I leave? Okay, there's nothing else. All right, so here's your call light. If you need anything, hit your call light and I'll be right back. Lower the bed to the lowest position. Double check the wheels to make sure the wheels are locked. Raise the side rail that I'm working on. Hook with the curtain. Make sure that your side table is within reach. Go to the foot of bed, check alignment, and then wash your hands and vacuum.